Right, demonstrators took down the barricades that have been blocking part of a North Portland neighborhood over the last week. However, that group says they're not leaving the area. It's part of an ongoing protest against the eviction of an African-American family. Jenny Young was on the scene tonight and has more with a look at what's left behind. After nearly a week of occupying three blocks around North Mississippi, the wooden pallets, plywood, and cellophane wrap have come down. You can now drive through here where you'll see this big encampment. It's hard to count how many tents are propped up on this block. Someone has a campfire going in this one. This community that's helping the Red House right now, that's love. Supporters of the Red House say even though the blockade is down, it doesn't mean they're leaving. They're still here showing support for the Kinney family, the African American family who lived here but were evicted when court records show they defaulted on a second mortgage. Tasha Miller is out tonight asking people if they want to sign a card for the family. I want to see it like covered and so I have a lot more work to do. <laughs> I don't think it's right. You know, there's other ways to get support. That's not one way to get support. It's just vandalism. This man says the building his family has owned for decades was vandalized. He first saw demonstrators here last Monday, the day before the barricades went up. I uh, just wished them well, and I hope things worked out good for them. But uh, then I came back a day later, and there was graffiti on part of the building and the street was barricaded here at Blandina. We reported on Tuesday when Mayor Ted Wheeler called the ordeal an illegal occupation and authorized police to use all lawful means to end it. However, Wheeler said today the city acted as a liaison between the Kenny family and the current property owner to reach an agreement. When asked, the mayor wouldn't go into detail about that agreement. For now, the Red House is still boarded up. Now, we did reach out to the developer and the Kinney family tonight. Haven't heard back from either. We'll let you know when we do.